Welcome everyone, Adam the Wu here. As a recording of this is Thursday, June 1st, 2023. This year is going by at very quick speed. I am leaving Las Vegas. Well, I've already left Las Vegas. I am now in Prim, right on the California state line. Vegas that way, Buffalo Bills, the sign is right here, and a closed down the casino's open but the roller coaster behind me and the very loud truck the water slide log ride inside has not reopened since buffalo bills reopened in 2020 it closed for a year or two reopened six months ago or so i'm gonna pop inside here just kind of look around and then cross the state line into california I have a hotel tonight in Los Angeles, but instead of taking the traditional route that I always take, I'm gonna to try to veer off and go to some ghost towns that I've never seen before off of the 15. And I'll probably get on the 15 a little bit too, and then as the closer I get to LA, get some of the interstates and, and freeways. But I'm just kinda of, gonna play it by ear and go to some areas that I have never seen before. I'm inviting you to join me. Glad you're here. Shall you? Now I rode that coaster Back in 2015, I stayed here for a couple nights, and the coaster was active. Also, this is a really great RV. It's got a tree painted on the side. And I have to say, it was a very uncomfortable roller coaster. I'm not sure if that's why they closed it down, but it was uh, it really struck fear into my, <laughs> into my heart going through some of these little catacombs and caverns. Man, I wish it would reopen. If it reopened, I would ride it again scary as it was but i feel like that will never happen this water tower here all the western theming yeah check it out you can see part of the flume there where the ride vehicle went straight down and there used to be a train that went over the interstate right next to the buffalo bill sign and you can see the train track there too so train track coaster track flume track no longer in use. Always like the theming through here. It really is kind of a bummer that it's not being utilized. You see how the door's shut there with the sandbags and all. Back end of a stagecoach there, a little pull behind. And it is open, the casino's open. I'm gonna pop in real quick. One thing is for sure, upon walking into the hotel casino entrance, it, I mean, it's got a kind of feature of some ghost towns. It definitely has that kind of vibe because there's hardly anyone. There was hardly anyone inside. Kind of eerie in a lot of ways. You know, the machines were on. There were a few people playing some slots and whatnot. And just some of the relics of kind of a bygone era when this place was probably a lot more hopping. And the theming's still on point in here, but none of the attractions are active. Again, the roller coaster is not working. The log ride is not working. But you can see some of the animatronics, some of the eye, some of the mannequins, all themed around Western, the Western times. Panning for gold. Just it is very eerie. It's almost like stepping into the twilight zone. I'm really glad that they did reopen. That you can come in, you stay in the hotels or in the rooms, and you can also gamble if you so choose. You just can't use the attractions. And from the way this looks, I don't think they're gonna be probably opening them anytime soon. If they ever do reopen, I'm definitely gonna come back and ride the coaster and the log ride. Seems like log rides are just closing left and right. I mean, the Disney ones obviously are gonna be rethemed, re but it's the closing of both Splash and then this, was, this log ride's open, or closed. Yeah, Buffalo Bills. They also have the Bonnie and, Cl uh, Bonnie and Clyde car which I believe years ago was on the other side of the freeway at a, a different a different casino, but now it's in here. Eerie, all very eerie. If it ever reopened, I would definitely go back on it, for sure. All right, gonna go fuel up, get a case of waters for the back seat, and head out into the desert, find some uh, so small towns off of the 15.
taking a different route this time to LA. Glad I got to stay here back in 2015. Would stay here again. Obviously when I stayed here in 15, the, the attractions were open, thankfully. I was able to ride them extensively throughout the course of that, that day and that evening. But the theming in there was just really great. Just really good theming, kind of going to waste. Self-pumping gas nozzle on the rental car. Okay, price of gas definitely here, a little more than it is in Central Florida when I was just in Florida. It's $5.88 here on the California state line. Well, just before crossing into California. Out of Prim, Nevada. Didn't have cases of water at this convenience store, so I got these oversized one and a half liters. Nice, crisp, and cold. That'll get me through that. I've been drinking a lot of water lately. It's time now for California. All right, exited off of the freeway now onto Nipton Road. So the 15 is over there, and I'm heading into the Mojave Desert. Do a little exploring. If you look closely over there, you can see Prim off in the distance. Right when you cross over that line, that's where all the casinos are. But once you get into California, it just turns into desert and no civilization on this side. Shifted onto Ivanpah Road, where the desert Tortoise Research Facility is right over there. Now I'm going to be heading this direction, but I want to point out the sign which clears San Bernardino County from any responsibility for any injury or loss suffered by the reason of its use because the roads past this point, past this cattle guard, that direction that I'm headed, are not maintained. All right, looks as if the pavement is going to be ending here. So this should be interesting. Adventures. This is how horror films begin. And magically, pavement came back. So a little bit of dirt for a bit, and then back to pavement. Definitely no gridlock or traffic jams out here. None of that. Plenty of elbow room on the road. The one with my thoughts. Not something you can normally do in a populated area. Just turn around right here on the road. So evidently this used to be a little tiny town. Maybe there still are residents here. Gonna go over another cattle guard right here. Because there is a mailbox here. I'm not saying any houses. I looked on satellite view too in the kind of the general area I'm at and there's nothing. Way off in the distance there is like when you're going out of Prim, right the state line, there's all those solar grids, and you see the sun reflecting over there. It's very bizarre looking from off in the distance. Almost makes you think, what the heck is that? Some sort of foundation there, next to the railroad tracks, kind of spray painted up and whatnot. Other than that, nothing in this general area. Ivanpah, I believe this name of this little area is. Ivanpah. So 
this random fence out here. Evidently this is where the cattle was corralled, but there's no doors. There's some, it's like some fresh hay over there too, but the gates are open. Certainly is peaceful out here. It's one word to describe it. Every once in a while, you'll, I'll see another car, but I really haven't seen on the last couple of roads I've been on, I probably have not seen more than two vehicles. One just drove by, but I think that was the first one I've seen since I was in this particular area. Nice little breeze out here too. I think you can see my rental right over there through the fence. Quite a few Joshua trees out here too. Hustle and bustle out here. This is SEMA. A couple of residents over here checking their mail. Crosshairs of a couple of railroad tracks. Groceries, ice, cold beer, soft drinks. But I do not believe that this general store is open anymore. Has the closed side of the door, has the US flag there. There's a trailer over here, seen better days. And possibly the owner of the store lives over here where the dogs are. Got some classic trucks in the yard. Old gas pump there. Friendly dog saying hi. Hello dog. You see the classic trucks there behind the dog and that gas pump. Desert blossoms here on this bush. And right next to the mailbox are two donkeys. Hello, donkeys. Right over here is a pink payphone. Oh, there's a dial tone. There's a dial tone, donkeys. Nowhere to... Don't mind me over there, donkeys. Just uh, talking on a pink payphone that works. There's no slot for a coin, though. Don't mind me, donkeys. I don't think I've ever done this before. I don't think I've ever talked on a pink telephone out in the middle of the desert with two donkeys nearby. There was no answer, donkey. There was no answer. No one was on the line. So there were a couple of residents that came up here a little bit ago to check their mail. The donkey said hi to them. Hello, donkeys. I don't have any food for you. Sorry, just wanted to say hi. I don't even know what donkeys eat, carrots? If I had some carrots, I'd feed the donkeys. surprised as long as I've been driving near the train tracks I still have not seen a train 
That might change as the day goes on, but I haven't seen a train yet. Pennywise? We all float down here. You'll float too. some train cars over here but the trains not moving they're just sitting stationary in fact a minute ago as I was driving along I saw a maintenance worker that had their truck up on the tracks with those special like items that go around the wheels to lift it up so evidently they're working on the tracks I haven't seen a train on the tracks so was moving other than the stationary one but I didn't see a worker driving his regular truck on the tracks so I, I was able to get it on camera but by too fast but there's a stagnant train over there a little broken power line there pulling into the community of Kelso yeah that power line is just completely ripped to shreds there's the park ranger station there off to the side look at all these power lines definitely are not working you can see the power lines are just kind of dangling there. At least I would hope that's not active. Old foundation over there, you see the fireplace from that house. Again, the power lines that aren't working. And if I shift this way past the foundation of that old homestead, around this impressive tree. The bend in the road is the Kelso Post Office. State so across the top. Not open. So something about packaging up top there. You can see where it says Post Office faintly. Here's the zip code. Got some piece. Ooh, big old lizard just scurried out of there. Something's written on the side here like there was a mural of some sort. A few letters up on there too. Wheel of fortune, wheel of fortune moment here. Trying to figure out what that says. Another empty building around back. Off to the side over here is the railroad depot. See if there's any information about that. Close, close, as I get closer to it. I'm really glad I took this route, seeing things I hadn't seen before, driving roads I hadn't been on before. Always new experiences. In the mid 40s and 50s, this two cell strap steel jail was used to confine drunks and other unruly individuals. For a night or two, the jail's original location was west of the Kelso, De Kelso Depot on the far side of Kilbaker Road. There it is right there. Corrugated tin shack was built around the open jail to protect prisoners from the sun and the rain. <whistles> so just imagine spending a night in this thing. There's a photo of the Kelso Depot back in 1924. 
And here is the Kelso Depot, current day. I think this is just for appearances. I don't believe any trains come through here other than carrying cargo, no longer passenger trains anymore. In fact, it's all fenced off over there where the entrance was to the tracks. This says Lester Packer passed away at 41. So there he is in front of the general merchandise. And I do believe that that, so it says here, across the street from the Kelso Depot, that is that post office building right there that Lester was sitting in front of back in 1941. Look at that. Also says the family still owns the building and two stores adjacent houses. Those adjacent houses are the ones that are no longer there that have the fireplace over there. A little basement here. Quite the vibe out here. Someone's parked their Volkswagen bus over here too. Very nice. Alright, gonna continue on. I'm over in Baker now. So I started in Vegas. I was like this mural, but I don't know if I've ever really showed it in detail. I drove past it a few times and just kind of filmed out the window with the car. But uh, I jumped out. Just kind of show, you got New York, New York there. You got the Stratosphere. You got Circus Circus over there. You got Mandalay. Moulin Rouge. And I am heading to Los Angeles. Got some snakes. Look, I didn't see any snakes out there. I am here. Got the you are here. I got my sunglasses they're using as a pointer. You are here as a turtle, a classic car alert, country store. I just realized I've, most of the day's already kind of getting away from me and I haven't even had a coffee yet. So I'm going to get my coffee in here in this shop. So LA from here is 178 miles. 178. Vegas is only 88. The thing is, I had to kind of backtrack over here to the main main interstate to get where I got to go because there wasn't a whole lot of other back roads that would take me in the direction I was wanting to go. So I haven't really gone as far as I wanted to go. Staples Center. I'm going to Hollywood. I'm going to be staying in Hollywood for a good series of days. Right over in this general area. Universal Studios Hollywood sign there. Got the Capitol Records building, look like the Eiffel Tower turning sideways, the Pantages, Marilyn Monroe Star, Griffith Park, Griffith Observatory, LA Zoo. And down here, so you got LA up here, and then you got Anaheim down here. And you got, well, Hollywood Tower is no longer there, now it's Guardians, Matterhorn. The castle there at Disneyland, and Tinkerbell, and some fireworks. It is warm. I wonder how warm it is. I'm gonna check out the world's largest thermometer. Let's see what the temperature is. Also here at Baker. Never notice all these kind of retro signage up there. The Sinclair dinosaur. Moon pie. 66. Bunch of different soda pops. Here in the store, they sell little golden flakes from a, a prospector. Got some gold. You can also get a lollipop, a little sucker with some insects in them. Look, there's a little scorpion. Ooh. Crickets and larvettes. The country store, it states they have over 400 soda pops. Retro candy. Right up there, it says over 400 soda pops. I, however, went 
with a piping hot caffeinated beverage. I should have got one of those like hardboard sleeves because this thing is scorchingly hot. I gotta check the temperature. Do not climb on this stagecoach. Okay, according to that, it says it's 84 degrees. Assuming that's correct, it says 84. Right there. That feels about 84. Very dry though. A lot of empty motels here in Baker. Bun Boy. All closed up. Seen better days. That would have been the main office and the check-in area for the Bun Boy. Will not be going inside Alien Fresh Jerky today. It's kind of a usual stop, this and Mad Greek, but I do it my usuals. I've done them many, many times, but I'm happy to report that they have really progressed and come along with the Space Hotel that will be happening back here, the Alien Time Travel Station Hotel. This thing, wow. They made a lot of progress even to the last time I went through here. How many months ago that was? They are really making some progress. Look at this spaceship. When this thing opens, I'm gonna be here to stop staying here, 100%. Especially with the Star Cruiser closing. Might have to do a little LARPing here in Baker. <laughs> Look at that thing. Royal Hawaiian. Now it's just a breeding ground for graffiti. This section over here kind of has Bates Motel vibes. This place had a pool. Let's see if I can find a remnants of a pool. Oh yeah, right back here. I'd imagine there's squatters living here. If there's not, that's surprising that there wouldn't be someone utilizing this empty place to take shelter from the elements. Yeah, this is like a skate spot. Look at this thing. I mean, I would break an arm if I tried it, but yeah, I just... No chance this place is gonna be reopening. Not without a lot of work. busted the door down and then put that entire desk on its side there. See some of the original paintwork here with the theming here. That's like original. Everything else is just kind of tagged up. Graffiti. Really like the sign though. Arnie's Royal Hawaiian Motel sign. See some of the old neon there left. I want to know. I do. I really do want to know. I didn't at first till I saw this, but who, I want to know who this. Who's Doctor Shrooms? I have no idea. I ended up getting on 58 West. Instead of going the traditional way, I usually go into LA. I'm heading this direction, trying to hit a couple towns that I've never been through, kind of up above Los Angeles, and then go past it, and then cut down through it into Hollywood. So I'm on 58 West right now. Just over there is the VFW here in Boren. 
or boron, B-O-R-O-N, B-O-R-O-N, yeah, bor boron. Let's see what I can find. Now that is perfect, that crow there on the welcome to Old Town, boron. Crow one up there, crow? I'm liking this little area, this little town already. See you later, crow. Holy cow! That is a big plane. Massive plane. broken down car over there. Got a liquor store over there with the old retro sign. Not a lot happening here in Boren. I was surprised to see that humongous plane going by. Must be an air base in the vicinity. It's an old railway cart. That's a relic. This is 20 Mule Team Drive, or 20 Mule Team Road. It's a pretty cool looking business there. I have a liquor store. Silver Liquors is closed. Got the arrow there. Got an Emporium over here. Old Town Gifts and Emporium. Stop. Take a look at Carl's hardware down there. And this barrel building here. Like a restaurant or something. It's like shaped like a, like a big barrel. That's pretty cool. Antique store is closed. Over at Pioneer Park is an it looks like an oversized Tonka truck and a a old fire truck too. But look at that's like a it's like those old Tonka trucks that you'd have when you were you were younger. But it's like a real version of it. That is a really old fire truck there. Now this train is on, it's just not moving. If you get up to the front, it feels like it's like just sitting here waiting to move forward. But you can hear the engine, it's got its lights on over there. Hello train. That train was saying hi to me. Now the name on the side of this plane here is Scooby-Doo. Right on the front tip there, Scooby-Doo. And here in town they have an aerospace museum. Take a look over there. This tiny little town has an aerospace museum. How cool is that? Nice little mural over there as well. On the side of that wall. Check out that propeller thing up there. Here at this light. It's like a really fast windmill. Just going crazy up there. Starting to get towards the greater LA area. It's a little dreary out. Of course, it also might be because the sun's about to go down, but yeah. All right, just got to my hotel. About to check in. Call it a day. That's gonna do it for today. Now in Los Angeles. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.